Welcome to Stock Trader Jack. My name is Justin and I'm going to help you get through calculating the 50 day EMA. So the first thing we're going to do, just to keep it nice and simple, is we're going to start by creating a price history. So I'm just going with Apple. Yes, it's a classic. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this formula. Google Finance. This, this is actually in some of my other videos, but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick refresher here. I'll actually show you, boom, what that looks like when you do it yourself. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go Google Finance. I'm just going to point at it here. All open date, close date, daily. And you do need to use parentheses. The, sorry, the, not the parentheses. You need to use the quotation marks on the all and daily, or this won't work. I'm going to go ahead and just say, let's do target instead. And it'll completely reload and give me targets numbers instead. But I'm going to go Apple. We'll just stick with the classic one. Perfect. So that part's easy. The next part is actually calculating the EMA. Now, EMA is an exponential moving average. It's different than a simple moving average. We're going to do a 50-day EMA. So how do we create exponential moving averages? First things first, I'm going to put in multiplication 50, which is the dates. If I change it to 200, then I'll get this for the EMA 200. I'm just going to go with the 50 though. And the calculation will be 2 divided by, open parentheses, B2 plus 1, close parentheses. And voila, that's the number you'll get is 0 0.03921 and so forth. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to go over to this next sheet, which I developed, which is just EMA. Basically uses the stock price from the price history. So I'm going to go down about 50 days or so. And the first thing I'm going to do in this EMA column is I'm going to average 50 days worth of data. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into this column. And you notice that I'm going to go ahead and do an average to start it out. An average of 50 days of closing price right here. So I went ahead and highlighted that time frame and I'll get this number. For Apple it was 76.59 based on this time frame. Now the next part is where that formula gets just a little trickier. And that's me being nice. Look at this. Okay, open parentheses, F59. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where that's pointing to. It's looking at the close price of the previous day minus EMA, or in this case, just the average for the moment, of the previous uh, cell right here, close parentheses, times the calculation, the EMA calculation right here in J3 and then close that up again, plus I-59, which is, again, this cell right above here. I'm not going to lie. There's no way to present this without it being super nerdy, super geeky, super numbers. That's just that's just being in stocks. But anyway, so we've got that. And now I'm just actually going to drag that formula all the way down. Perfect. Now, let's, at this point, you're probably thinking, hey, how do I know that I got the right numbers? How did I make sure I calculated it right? So I'm actually going to cross-check this with Weeble. This is a fantastic broker and makes this really easy to check my EMA calculations. Okay, great. So this is Apple, and there's that EMA line. Okay, the EMA for this period looks to be right about like 137, right kind of in that 137, 7 to 138. It's just right there in this window. Yeah, about 137.94. So I should be really, really close to that. Let me go back. 137. Yeah, so I'm almost right there. Like within just like, what, 10 cents, 15 cents. That's pretty darn good, especially building off of this. So that's great. Now, if you're actually wondering, um, for those of you who already have Weeble or if you're actually still looking for a broker, I'll even show you how to add on the 50 day EMA. So what you're going to do is go to indicators and you just click on EMA. If you don't see that, just go edit indicators and you'll find it right here on the left. Alligator, Bollinger Bands, and then EMA is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on EMA. And there you go. You have different lengths. You can go 5-day EMA, 10-day, 20-day. I'm going with the 50-day, which is this one right here. So you go style. And this is where you actually put it on your chart. In the style, it just says EMA 50, blah, 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 blah. I actually only really use EMA 50 and EMA 200. That's just a personal preference. You can go ahead and add any one of these and change up the colors, the style, all that cool stuff. It's a really neat part of it. It'll even tell you about the exponential moving average if you want to. 
And as full disclosure with Weeble, I do use them. I am an affiliate with them, so I included a link below. You can click straight to there, sign up for free, it includes like a free stock. Basically, it benefits us both, which is really, really cool. By the way, I wanted to show you just as a little bonus tip. The next question you probably have is, is there a way I can do this in Excel? The truth is, is yes and no. You can go into Excel, and let's say I want to be like, all right, I want to import all that information. Well, in order to do that, I'll show you a way to do it, but I would probably just do a copy and paste. I'm just going to, yeah, let's do the entire document as a CSV. I'm going to publish. Okay, great. I'm going to copy this right here, this output. Now I'm going to go into Excel. Next thing I'm going to do, import from web. If you guys work exclusively in Google Sheets, you do not need to do this part. I'm just showing you how to do it in case you're an Excel purist. I am not going to judge. I am going to tell you that Google Sheets is a lot cooler than Excel. Don't throw any hate. It's cool. All right, great. Load data. Awesome. Okay, so load it straight from my sheet. So now I've got the pricing and I can go ahead and do that exact same thing, but this is where I'm just going to actually cheat. I'm like, I don't really want to do all that again, so I'm going to go copy. I'm just going to go paste as, I just want to do it as text. Voila. One of the reasons you might even bring this over into Excel is just because you like the charts better. I know I do. I don't feel like Google Sheets quite has their charts up to snuff. There is, however, still a limitation with pulling it into Excel. You can't really use the stock chart to do that. Like you can build a stock chart out of the opening, high, close, all that in Excel just like you normally do by just going insert and then do the stock chart with the candlesticks and everything. Unfortunately, that doesn't allow you to combine that with other charts. At least I haven't found a method. If you guys know of a different method that I haven't tried yet, you can go ahead and just drop it in the comments. But there's still one other option. You can still highlight closing price. It's not going to be the best because it's not going to show you the highs and lows of the day, but it is going to show you the closing price and highlight the 50-day EMA. Go back to insert and do the uh, line chart that crosses over like this. And voila, you'll still have the average, pr the uh, closing price, and it'll show you when it dips below the 50 day EMA. So, this is at least one way you can do it, just to give you an idea. Guys, I hope this was super helpful for you. If you have any questions on the 50 day EMA, just give me a shout. If you'd like to download the Google Sheets version that we did today, all you need to be is a member, Jacklist Pro or Jacklist Elite. You can download any of the Google Sheets that we do here on YouTube. Otherwise, I hope this was very helpful in being able to make your very own. And you guys are all set. Stock Trader Jack includes tons of free content and tutorials on Google Sheets, cool scanners for finding great stocks, and how to use your broker's tools like a pro, especially Weeble. For more great videos, hit the subscribe button and drop a like or a comment. We love the support. Check us out at StockTraderJack.com. Do stocks your way.